No sugar coating here. This is what life is like in a tiny house when you have several projects going at one time. Gary's got the door up. He's going to paint it today. I'm going to reorganize that messy closet. We're going to try to make it more functional by putting some shelves in it. I've got three loads of laundry ready to go to go into the house and start doing laundry. Yep, life in a tiny house. Let's go down there. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary, and this is Roads of Faith. And today, we tackle more projects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, some projects are planned and some projects are not. Here we go. Okay, so things look a little better. The door is off, the door is out of here. Gary's painting it, and the laundry is done and gone. But now we have more stuff on the floor. What's going on now? Things are getting put on the couch. What's going on here? Oh, another project. <laughs> so this was an unexpected one. Do you want to tell everybody what happened? Yeah. Uh, the water heater stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, heating element apparently went out on the water heater. So we have to get in here to get the water heater element out which is under there. So we're hoping to be able to cut this out, take it out of the way, and then get to the water heater, replace the element, and then patch it back together. Yeah. And you'll never know we were here. Right. <laughs> and the element that burned out was for the electric, when we used it on electric, which we've been doing since we've had electricity instead of using propane. It still works on propane. We still have hot water, we just have to use the elect or gas all the time. And it still stinks. Well, not as bad as it did. No. I used uh, essential oils of tea tree and lemon, and uh, that helped get a lot of the smell out of here. So everything's out from both levels here. This is a big design flaw. It really is. This, you can't get to... Um, a lot of things under here because of this shelf it does not come out and it goes all the way over there which is nice and it goes all the way over there which is nice but for working on things it's not so nice the hot water heater is way back in here and uh, you have to go underneath this to get to it a little claustrophobic and a little difficult to work around so they're going to take this shelf out today and that's what needs to be done our host came in and looked at this with gary and it was determined that the whole shelf has to come out right yeah i'm just trying to decide where to cut the thing uh, to cut it somewhere around here and so it's small enough to get through the hole without having to cut it a second time <laughs> well like I said, if we can just replace it with other things, I don't... I mean, we're going to need to have access to this for more things than just the hot water heater. And to put the shelf back in there just doesn't make sense, does it? Sure. I mean, there's a lot of shelf space here that's... Yeah, because um, there's times when I have not put things under here because the hoses in the back there, if something slid into it or something, you might have a, a leak in that. So I didn't want to do that so there's a lot of stuff that we've kept from going that far so we really don't use all of that anyway so maybe we can just think of some other way of storing stuff under there efficiently without having to put that thing back in huh perhaps <laughs> perhaps keep thinking okay keep thinking. i'll keep thinking that's my job i do the thinking <laughs> So Gary and I were just talking about this shelf again, and I say take it out and leave it out, and we will figure out some other way of doing storage underneath there that might be better utilized and make it a lot easier to work on things because that's where the faucet connections are, that's where the hot water heater is, the fresh water tank is under there. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you have to get to and that shelf is always going to be a problem, and it'll always have to be something that would have to be removed. So, the wood 
from that can be used in the closet. If we can, we have room to put two shelves here to about this high, and then we can have, you know, have it go across. That would be much, much more efficiently used. Right now I have things just kind of thrown in there because I don't have any place to put them. Because it's going to make dust now when Gary cuts this, he put plastic up here to keep it from going into my drawers. The silverware drawer and the dish towel drawer. But yeah, isn't that funny that they would put in something like this and they glued it in and, and uh, screwed it in. <laughs> so it was, it was in there. It was not going to come out. Gary put on your safety glasses. really a bugger to get out. Can, I mean, can you imagine if you ever wanted to work on stuff under there to be put in the back? Just wouldn't make any sense. Obviously they didn't do anything, the previous owners didn't do anything because you can't work on that stuff from the outside. It has to be all done from the inside. Well, you can take the water heater out. From the outside. outside. Yeah. There's a hot water heater under there, there's all kinds of hoses, and there is the fresh water tank, so can't let it just drop either. It's kind of the key. It's a wicked saw. Now what happened? It peeks out if it's mm. under the uh, uh, between the drawer. But that was the only one that was protecting a drawer, right? So it's not a, replace that. that's not a big deal. I don't think we need it. See how precisely I cut that evenly. <laughs> but it's enough that we can still make shelves for the closet, so that's that's good. I hope so. Yeah. I won't use this saw to do it though. Okay, half the sh half the shelf is out, and Gary's going to take the other half out. 
you saw how difficult it was for him to be getting that out and I didn't I didn't uh, show everything I mean it was just really hard it's it was it was very well fastened in there giving credit to the manufacturer for that but making it accessible to things underneath here not not a good design so so we'll come up with a better idea for storing things now that we can move the stuff out when we need to work on things under here and can move it back in real easily when we're done You can see all the screws that this was being held up with. This whole thing was being held up underneath here with all these screws and they went all the way across. So like I said, it was very well sturdy made. And there's more screws over here, but not functional. The rest of the shelf is out now. Gary had to use a crowbar to get it out, but it came out in one piece pretty much. It just needed a little oomph to get it out there, but now it's done. So now we have this clean slate of what we've got to figure out what we're going to do for underneath here now for storage. But first, we fix the hot water heater.